hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can debloat almost any android phone and yeah i haven't still found the intro video file so we're gonna have to do this video without the intro so yeah let's get into the video without the intro so debloating your phone is basically removing all the bloatware apps which is included by the manufacturer for example as you can see daily hunt samsung global goals samsung free samsung shop i mean do you even use those apps and also you can't uninstall them so for example let's say i want to go i want to uninstall one drive i don't use one drive i don't want it so even if you press and hold on the app you will see no uninstall option and some apps can be uninstalled for example the uh, spotify the facebook netflix and all those stuff but if you are looking for a heavy system apps debloat you have come to the right video so today we're going to be doing that in this video and also one thing i have found in samsung phones is once you go to the recovery mode and then you erase the data and then erase the cache partition and again you reboot back into your phone and then set up your phone like it's a new one again you will see that some of these apps will be disappeared so it's like half of our work is done so i'm going to show you how to do that now it'll be really quick i'll fast forward the waiting part and everything so on these newer samsung phones what you need to do to get into the recovery mode is you need to keep your uh, phone plugged into the pc this entire time until we get into the recovery mode and what you need to do now is you need to press and hold the volume down button and the power button until the phone turns off you can also directly uh, like normally switch off your phone like how you always do it but this is also fine once the phone is switched off immediately switch your fingers onto the volume up button and press and hold the power button Keep holding it until it boots into the recovery mode. And now as you can see we are in the recovery mode. You can go ahead and unplug the cable uh, which is connected to your PC. And now as usual you just use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select. So I am going to highlight wipe data slash factory reset. And I am going to choose yes. Once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and also wipe the cache partition. I know you can't see everything properly because I'm uh, recording this on an older phone, so I'm sorry for that. And finally, after you have erased the data and the cache partition, you need to highlight reboot system now and then press the power button. And now we wait for the phone to boot. so the uh, phone has booted i'm just gonna set up the phone real quick and here as you can see so if i uh, reset the phone using the recovery mode as you can see most of the apps are actually disappeared there's no daily hunt there's no samsung global goals and all those other apps and as you can see there's no samsung tv plus and many other apps were there but now they're all gone after we have uh, reset the phone from the recovery mode but still you do not want some of these apps like for example my galaxy samsung max samsung shop samsung free and uh, yeah you don't want ar zone you don't want i mean you need bixby but i don't use bixby so i'm just gonna uninstall that as well in this video so you still don't want these apps but you cannot uninstall them as you can see if i press and hold on the app it just says disable at home and select there's no uninstall option so now we're gonna also remove that as well so now you need to head over to your pc all right so we're gonna have to download some files head over to the links in the description down below so the first up is the android usb driver now i'm downloading the samsung android usb driver because i have a samsung phone so if you are doing this on a phone which is from a different brand then you will have to download the android usb driver from their website so yeah once you have downloaded that 
Next up is the Android SDK platform tools. Just scroll down a bit and here you will see the download links. And this is also available for Mac and Linux, Windows. I have a Windows machine so I'm gonna download which says SDK platform tools for Windows. Click on that, scroll down, accept the terms and conditions and then click on the download button and the download will start. Next up is the universal Android debloater tool. And again scroll down a little bit, head over to the releases page. Scroll down a bit again, expand assets. And again this is available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. As I said I have a Windows machine so I need to download this. I'm not gonna download anything because I have already downloaded it just to save some time. Next up is the package name viewer. You can also get this app from the Google Play Store. I'm just uh, downloading the APK and then transferring it to the phone and installing it there. So anyway it's fine if you want you can download it from the Google Play Store or the APK Pure website or any other APK downloading website. Alright once you have downloaded all the stuff you can exit out of your browser. Alright first up what you need to do is install the Android USB driver for your specific device. I have already installed it so I'm not gonna do that again. Next up is you need to extract the platform tools zip file so just right click on it and then select extract here. You can use any extracting tool I'm using WinRAR. Once it has extracted open the folder and then you will see just a bunch of files. Now what you need to do is you need to copy the directory of all these files so just single click over this box over here single click on it and then copy the directory of all these files now what you need to do is head over to the search bar in your computer type in view advanced system settings open it up click on environment variables double click on path which is over here and then select new and then you need to paste the directory of where all the uh, platform tools files are so I'm just gonna hit Control V over here and then just click anywhere in an empty space and okay now we're done with it now you can just select okay 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 and another thing I forgot to tell you so uh, right now we're gonna head back again to the phone so yeah what I forgot to tell you is that you had to enable the USB debugging option in your phone so to do that you need to head over to your settings app you need to head over to developer options and as you know if you do not have developer options you just have to go into the software information page and then tap on the build number a couple of times and then you will have the developer options setting once you're inside that scroll down and here you will find usb debugging just turn it on and now we're good to go and one more thing i'm just gonna copy the package name viewer apk to the phone so that i can install it in the phone and like i said you can also download this app from the google play store but uh, this is a freshly flashed phone so i haven't connected it to the internet yet so i'm just gonna do the apk method i'm gonna go ahead and copy it over to my phone i'm gonna put it in the downloads folder and now once that is copied we can go ahead and install the apk in the phone all right once that is done keep the uh, package name your app open and keep your phone side by side next to your pc all right now we can go ahead and open the universal android bloater tool and here uh, yeah just a second this app just glitches out in my uh, pc I don't think this is going to happen in your PC but still I can easily navigate around the software. It's fine I'm going to show you how to do it. So first up you see these two drop down menus over here. So click on the first drop down menu and the first option itself will be all. So you just need to bring your mouse uh, down a little bit and then click and as you can see the option all is selected in the drop down menu. Do the same for the uh, second drop down menu. The first option itself is all. So just bring your mouse down a little bit and then click on it and as you can see it has selected all packages. Okay so now let's say I want to uninstall like the uh, Facebook and other apps. So the Facebook and some other apps you can easily just install it by pressing and holding on them the Facebook and the tips app as well but if you want to get it off the uh, Samsung Max, My Galaxy, Samsung Shop, Samsung Free you will have to type in the package name for some of these so that's where the package name viewer app comes in handy alright so I'm gonna show you a few examples over here first up let's um, uninstall the My Galaxy app so as you can see if I press and hold it you won't get the uninstall option it's just disable add to home and select so if you want to uninstall that app you need to head over to the tool and click on the search box over here and then type in my galaxy 
okay as you can see we have it over here my galaxy app so to uninstall it just click on the uninstall button and the uh, app is going to disappear from your phone all right so now i'm going to click on the uninstall button and keep an eye on the phone screen all right i'm going to press uninstall and as you can see the app just uninstalled and it disappeared so some apps you can just type in the app name over here and you can uninstall it for example the um, or samsung max so i just type in max and this is the correct app opera max so i'm just gonna click uninstall and as you can see the app just uninstalls and disappears so now let's say you need to get it off the samsung free and the samsung shop app and other apps like this AR zone so now if I just gonna type in uh, Samsung free over here as you can see it's not showing anything in the list that's because you need to type in the package name so to find the package name head over to the package name viewer app and then head over to the system apps tab and now we need to uninstall Samsung free app right so just search Samsung free over here And it's gonna automatically take us down to where the Samsung free app is located and as you can see in the second line com.samsung.android.app s page so what it's saying in the second line that is the package name of that specific app now you don't have to sit and type the whole line over here you can just type the end name or anything like that so for samsung free it is the ending word is s page so i'm just going to type in s page over here and as you can see we have s page and now if i click uninstall samsung free app will get uninstalled as you can see and again same goes for the samsung shop app so if i just gonna type shop over here as you can see nothing shows up because that is not the correct package name so head over to the package name app viewer again and then search for samsung shop and as you can see the samsung shop app package name is com.samsung.ecom.global.in like i said you don't have to type the whole line just take any one word from it i suggest you to take the words like uh, after the sams after it says com.samsung so you can just take ecom or global i'm just gonna take global and as you can see i'm gonna select uninstall and the samsung shop app is disappeared it's uninstalled from the phone same goes for these microsoft apps so if you just type in onedrive you won't get the app in the drop down menu i mean sorry in the list so again you will head over to the package name app type in onedrive and as you can see the package name is this com.microsoft.skydrive so i'm just going to type in skydrive over here and i can uninstall as you can see the microsoft onedrive app is uninstalled so like this if you want to do a heavy system deep load you can search for the package name using this package name viewer app and then you can uh, deep load your phone further by removing some of the unwanted bloatware or some of the system apps and i recommend you to uh, be careful what you uninstall because some uh, packages the android system might need it so you have to be careful what you're uninstalling now if you want to go for heavy system deep load you can like uninstall the uh, the ad services api and other stuff app cloud you can uninstall these you can uninstall ar emoji or emoji editor if you don't use those and again we can also get it off ar zone over here and yeah there are actually many other um, unwanted system apps you can uninstall but you have to be careful what you uninstall because some of them is required by the android system to run perfectly so yeah you have to just um, scroll through this list and find the packages which you don't want and then you need to type in the package name over here and then you need to select uninstall and that will uninstall the app from your phone for example let's say i don't want this content suggestion service so i just can't type in content suggestion it won't show anything as you can see this is a totally different app so we need to type in the package name which is alive privacy i mean what does that even mean and as you can see alive service alive privacy so alive service alive privacy and you can also uh, check the boxes over here if you wanna if you are like uh, doing a bulk uninstall or something so you can search one by one and then check the boxes and then finally when you're ready to uninstall all of them you can just hit on the uninstall selection button over here and then all the apps which you have uh, checked the box they are going to get uninstalled 
and also once you have checked the boxes you can also export your current selection so the next time you want to do this again you don't have to sit and uh, check the boxes one by one the boxes will already be checked and all you have to do is just press on the uninstall selection button and it will uninstall all the apps which you have selected previously so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video